hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use combo box control in qt qml application and how to set its property and how to use its event and how to add the model or set the model and how to add the items in combo box control and how to set the style sheet for it so now let's start simply first import the qt quick control 2.15 now let's create the combo box now set the first id in qt widget application we use object name for it and here we use id now let's set the width width is let's set 500 and set the height is 70 and set the anchor also and now display the our combo box in center of application set the current index is zero and here now we have to create the um, model so let's create the model for display or add the item also set the id of that model let's simply copy my combo box list model now here we have to add the elements list elements we have to set the key and write your item name let's set the option one add two or three more options four and five so now set the model just copy your id of your model and set here now let's run the application you can see the item is added successfully in our uh, combo box control okay now here let's set the uh, event on active on activated and write the log here console.log and let's print this selected text and selected index selected text is my combo box dot current text and for index so here we use current index Now let's run the application and see the output. So you can see the index and this text. So by this way you can use the on activated uh, event for it and Qt widget application we used uh, current index change event or current text change event or current item change event. Here we use on activated event. Now let's set the some basic style sheet for it. So let's set the first of all a background style sheet. Now set the radius of uh, our combo box. Now set the 10. Let's use the gradient. Gradient and now set the gradient stop uh, set the position first position is uh, 0 0.0 let's set the uh, linear uh, linear gradient and set the color for it let's take one more color for 0 0.1 Okay, so simply copy the two colors for it. First of all, red, and use a one another color is. I take it this one and paste here. Now let's run the application. So you can see the effect. Uh, set here one. Now let's run the application. So you can see the effect. 
now let's set this some basic style sheet for our text so let's start just simply use the content item and here the text now set the first of all color so set the white color now set the text okay so here select your combo box name and display text okay add a hashtag here now set the some font size it's a uh, 16 and set the font property bold set the true also you can set the alignment of it vertical alignment align with center and also you can set the horizontal alignment so you can set the right or left we have to set the centering okay now let's check the application you can see the effect also you can set the element align left now check it you can see the effect okay now also set the our style sheet for our pop-up control for this one so now let's create the item delegate set the style sheet for delegates item delegate set the width for it set the same as of our combo box control and uh, set the background for it let's set the color for color uh, pick up any one color so let's select this one also set you can set the radius so let's set the radius as a zero now here we have to set content item text so for for it so use let's use this white color also or you can also change the any one color let's pick green color okay and change here it you can also set the here we have to first of all we here we have to set the our model data okay and here you also can set the fonts property so let's change here 16 to 14 okay we we'll also set the alignment here now let's run the application So you can see the our combo box let's select any one light color and check it so you can see how to set the uh, background color or for color of our item in combo box control pop-up so by this way you can easily create the combo box control and use your set the style sheet for it and add the items for it in your models let's add one more item 6 and 7 and check it so you can see the effect okay so by this way you can easily set the style sheet of your combo box control 
and please drop your comment if you have any questions about combo box control in QML application and please like the video and share the videos with your friend and subscribe to my youtube channel to get the notification of new videos and thanks for watching my video thank you